Well, hey everyone, it's Tom here. Welcome back to my shop. So we've basically wrapped up most of the repairs on the big jet lathe. So I figured uh, I'd address an issue that I've got on my Monarch lathe. So the uh, clutch lever that's on the carriage is real sloppy and we need to repair it. It seems to be a uh, common problem. Keith Rucker did the same repair because he has the same lathe about three years ago. So I figured it's about time for me to do it on mine. So let me get the camera set up and I'll show you what we're talking about. So what you guys are looking at, this is the clutch lever that's on the, the side here of the carriage. We've got one over there by the headstock and you, you know, you pull her down and now she's running. But as you can see, how sloppy it's gotten. It's just from, you know, years of use. It just rides on this uh, three quarter inch square rod. So what we need to do is uh, take this off and we'll pull that old bushing out that's worn, turn a new bushing on the lathe and broach a square hole. So that is the plan of attack. I'm gonna go ahead and get this off. I'm not gonna bore you with that and then uh, meet me over there at the bench and we'll check this thing out and we'll get some measurements. So here's the piece we need to make. Let me put it on a piece of paper, hopefully you can see that. You can see how wonky that uh, square hole is. She's not square anymore. <laughs> Pretty simple turning job. Uh, this is 780 thousandths thick. And the diameter is a one and five eighths or 1.625. So got a piece of, uh, I think it's just mild steel. We'll just knock this out, turn it and then broach it. So just got a piece of, uh, well, mild steel looking at the way it's cutting. One and three quarter inch in diameter. Just gonna clean the face obviously. And then we'll uh, turn the OD down to 1.625 that we need. And then uh, we'll drill a, a pilot hole for the three quarter brooch. I'm just gonna whittle away at this. Nice stringy chips. Gotta love 1018. Her service finish looks good. <laughs> kind of a compromise there, huh? Nice. Uh, take a measurement and see where it need to be. We're at one inch, 701. All right. This should be the last pass. Just using calipers for this job, this should be fine. Let's see, well, we're still a little long. Well, hold on 1625, 1626, 162, 1625 and a half. That worked for me. Let's go ahead and break this edge while we're here. That's all we need. Go ahead and get it center drilled. <laughs> Just gonna step drill it. It's 
to half inch. Okay, final size drill here. Slow the lathe down, of course. Go ahead and break this inside edge. And let's get this baby parted. What do you think? I'd have to. Adjust you guys a little bit. It's not too bad. How about that? Looks good there. Now let's go ahead and move over. 780, we'll go to 800, that way we can flip it around and clean that face up after we pour it. Alrighty. Okay, I slowed it way down. Carriage is locked. This lathe is not rigid and it hates parting. So we'll see about what we can do here. Feed with two hands here, maybe. Get this carbide to dig and go. I told you that. Carbide may be dull too. Hang on. Just cut it off with a bandsaw. It was quicker and easier. And digging out another piece of carbide and putting it in the tool. This should be our final dimension. Seven eighty one works for me. I need a seven eighty. Cool. Let's break that edge there. Alright, so if you guys remember, I don't know, about a year, year and a half ago on a mail call, I purchased this Dumont three-quarter square brooch. I knew I'd have a couple projects for it. One, you know, the first project was we used it on the Arbor Press upgrade, and then I knew I'd be fixing the Monarch, so I knew I'd, you know, I could use this for this job too, so... It made it worthwhile to purchase it. I mean, these rascals are expensive. I think it's like 500 bucks new, but I found it on eBay for half the price. The guy had a bunch of them, whole selection, and he was just, you know, selling them. And, uh, you know, I scored it. So I'm going to uh, use a new press. I'll get you guys turned around, and I got the air hooked up. We'll use this uh, pneumatically since it's such a long stroke. I'm not going to sit there and pump it. We'll let air do it. What do you think? Hopefully that's a good position for you. Let's get some lube on her. I do have a catch pan underneath here. So, get a foot pedal where I need it to be. Let's see how she goes. Slow and easy wins the race. I'm gonna back off just to check. All right, we're still good. 
let it kind of self-adjust. I mean, it's pretty thick. It's not like a, a single cutter. So it usually self-centers a little easier, but it never hurts to uh, just check. Well, we are on the home stretch here. Figured I'd do it manually the last few. Uh, get ready to catch this thing. And there, we should have it. <laughs> it's gonna be close. Come on, baby. Oh, you're killing me. <laughs> oh, I ran out of travel. Jeez. So, here's the bushing we just made. Looks a whole lot better than that, doesn't it? It ain't wired out. And it fits good on the shaft. Had to do a little uh, deburring to try to get it on there. And then when it comes to here, they just got gunk and stuff because this is such a tight fit. So got to clean the shaft a little bit. But I'll go ahead and get it together and uh, bring you guys back. Well, there you go, guys. All wrapped up. Works as it should. Power be on. Now we're off. So I adjusted it so it's just a little bit high since I'm taller and then the controls would be, you know, a little more comfortable because otherwise it was going to be sitting down about three inches lower. So I think that's going to work out good. Um, it is, <laughs> chaos wants to be in the shot for some reason. Look out, buddy. Come on now. I'm trying to film. Come on. So um, it's retained by two uh, dog point set screws. And all I did off camera was uh, just drill a couple dimples in it so it's retained. So that's how it's held. So quick and easy fix. Obviously, if you're a Monarch owner, you're going to have to do this at some point. We did get a little bit of lathe action in, which is awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. So, you know, as I showed you how roached this baby was, it was time for a new one. So, all righty. I appreciate you watching. Appreciate you subscribing. If you're new to the channel, I hope you enjoy this stuff and stick around. Hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. Chaos says hello, and we'll catch you on the next video. See you guys. Hi. Right. I know.